Do you want to pass your SISM first time? If so, I can help. My name's Sean, I'm Master Trainer here with Nemstar and over the last 20 years I've helped thousands of people just like you do that very thing, pass their SISM first time. These short sessions will cover some of my inside secrets on how to deal with the hardest exam questions on SISM. Today, we're in part two. It's all about value creation. SISM is based on COVID from ISACA. That's the core principles behind everything that you're going to see on your SISM exam. COBIT is a little bit different to other standards and other concepts. The number one overriding thing in COBIT is not controls and protection. It is always about strategic achievement, business needs. In a COBIT world, the business is always right, we are there to understand and meet its needs. And the same is true in real life. The issues we face with COVID and SISM and ISACA is the same issues we face in real life. We have two diametrically opposing forces. Agility, usability, functionality, value creation from information systems. The other thing we have is information security controls that protect us from ransomware and hackers and phishing and farming and cross-site scripting. And the two are linked. They're on a seesaw. If you raise information security, you inevitably lower usability and functionality and agility. You, you lower the value creation. We know that you can have too few controls, but you can also have too many. It's a piece of macroeconomic theory called the inverted yield curve. Our job is to ensure not only do we have the minimum control requirements, but that we do not go overboard, that we do not limit the flexibility and usability of a system. Number one is strategic achievement, and number two is value creation. Our job is to create value within the system, to balance the controls with the business needs. With the sole exception of legal compliance, on your SISM exam, business is always right. You always pick strategic alignment, value creation, and if you have to, we do risk management. Risk management is the measurement of the size of the risk. We need to understand the impact that these events will have or are actually having to understand what we should do about it. It's all about the impact on the operations, the reputation and the information systems belonging to the business. In COBIT, for value creation questions, always pick strategic alignment, go for value creation, balance as a second choice, and when you're thinking about risk, it's all about measuring to understand the size of the impact to make the right decision. Let's go and have a look at one question that represents each of these techniques. Let's look at our first question based around value creation. Here's the question. Which of the following would be the most important to include in a business case to help obtain senior management commitment from an information security investment? Would it be results of an independent audit? Sounds like a really good answer. Definitely something you'd like to do. Independent audits can obtain senior management commitment. In actual fact, I like A. B. Industry best practices. Again, following standards and industry best practices. Good. I don't like the answer as much. 
because I don't know if industry best packets could help obtain senior management commitment. It's not an incorrect answer, but I like it less. Third, projected business value. Well, look, we've got an awful lot going on in that one. We have the words business and value put together. I really like that one. It goes for number one, strategic alignment, and number two, value creation. And the last one is reference to a business policy. You know, if I'm going to go in reverse order, this is number four. This is number three. My 50-50 is between A and C. And every single time, I'm going to go with business value. It's not always about controls. In CISM, a lot of the time it's about value creation. Always pick business, always pick value, always pick strategic alignment. Question number one, answer C, projected business value. So let's look at our second question from value creation on your CISM. This one, a risk analysis for a new system is being performed. For which of the following is most important? Vulnerability analysis, balance scorecard, cost-benefit analysis, and impact analysis? Again, it's yet another question that appears to have four right answers behind it. Vulnerability analysis is a really good thing to do. It will really help me as a business understand. Balance scorecards are tools that look at strategic achievement and strategic alignment. That is really good for risk analysis. Cost-benefit analysis, extremely good because it looks at the benefit versus the cost during an implementation phase. And impact analysis is really good because it's part of risk. You see, we now have a situation where yet again, we're left with four things, none of them sound incorrect, none of them sound really bad. So what do we do? We go back to our fundamental principles, our fundamental rules. Which of the following is most important? Okay, there can only be one of these that's most important. And that most definitely, going back to our principles, strategic alignment, value creation, and risk management, one of those covers all of them. Do you remember what your balance scorecard is? It's a strategic achievement tool. It takes a look at the financial, the operational, the learning and growth, and the customer satisfaction aspects of a business. It takes into compass all the different elements of risk. The other clue is actually this word. Don't forget risk analysis and risk assessments are two different things. Question number two, value creation, balance scorecard. Know your COVID management tools. This is not as much about technical controls as it is about business acumen. Balance scorecards. Okay, so far in CISM we've covered two out of the three questions. I've kept the hardest to last. This is an absolute stinker. After the occurrence of a major information security incident, which of the following will best help an information security manager determine corrective actions? Would it be calculating the cost of the incident? Yeah, you know what, I like that. Conducting a post-mortem assessment? Guess what? I like that. Preserving the evidence? Well, if it's going to be forensics, it's important. I like that. Performing an impact analysis. And again, I like that. I am yet again in ISACA left 
with four options that I even find it hard to eliminate. What do I do? I need to go back and reread the question. I need to try to understand what they're actually asking me. Because if you read the question, I believe there's an important phrase or term. Which term or phrase do you think is important? After the occurrence of a major information security incident, which of the following will best help an information security manager determine corrective actions? It's not this. It's this. You see, they're not asking you for a post-mortem. Post-mortem would be the most attractive of these answers. A post-mortem is a lessons learned. You aren't at a lessons learned stage. The event has just happened. The, it doesn't say after the successful conclusion of an event. It doesn't say after system restoration. It doesn't say after the playbook was followed and the incident was dealt with. It says after the occurrence of a major security incident, which of the following will best help an information security manager determine corrective evidence? What I need to do is I need to perform an impact analysis. Now, if you Google this question, you're going to get tons of people on the internet disagreeing with my answer. My answer is D, and I am correct. How? How can I possibly know that the answer is D to this ridiculously difficult question? Well, of course, if you know your ISO 27001, in ISO 27001, Schedule A, Section 1614, it's the decisions and assessments of information security events. Read the quote I've highlighted. Once, secure, once a security event has been reported and subsequently logged, it will then need to be assessed in order to determine the best course of action to take. ISO 27000 says it, COVID says it, I say it. The answer to this question is D, you perform an impact analysis. The event is not over. You're in the middle of an event after the occurrence of a major security incident. It didn't say you resolved it. It didn't say you finished it. The incident has just occurred. Answer to the hardest question we've done on this session, it's D. You get a question that got right, you can easily pass your sism. So there you have it. One of the hard exam types on SISM is about business value creation. And your rules are number one, strategic alignment, number two, value creation, and number three, risk management. SISM is about much more than fishing, farming, and ransomware. It's about understanding and responding to the needs of your organization in order to create value. If you enjoyed this little session, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. There's three in this series. We've already done four right answers. We'll be doing keywords change the meaning next. If you like it, do make sure you subscribe to our channel. If you need some more help or support, do check us out in Google. We're Nemstar. But from me from this session, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Maybe I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.